Introducing the Apple Macintosh Plus, a recent addition to my retro computer collection and a prime example of one of the most influential early Macs. This particular Mac Plus has been upgraded from the standard 1 megabyte of RAM to 2.5 megs and came with an external hard drive of unknown capacity, which is something I'll be exploring in a future video. This Mac Plus also came with something a little extra. A Color Style Writer 2500 inkjet printer. Depending on how observant you are, or how well this video turns out, you might notice that this printer is a little bit filthy. You may also figure out that it has a passing resemblance to a very popular printer of the 90s. It's basically a rebadged Cadden bubble jet. If you look closely, there's a couple of things you may notice about this cartridge. Firstly, it's a Canon BC20, which at the time of making this video is still available in the aftermarket. And you'll also notice that one of the ingredients is isopropyl alcohol. My plan is to try and resuscitate this particular cartridge by putting it in a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. Not the whole cartridge, of course. I'm referring to the head. I can understand if you're concerned about me using isopropyl alcohol during these coronavirus ravaged times, but we happen to have a little miracle stashed away in our house called soap. So I think we'll be okay from the bug for just another couple of days. I've got some spare isopropyl alcohol and there's really not much that needs to be doused. In fact, all we've got to do here is unravel this thing here and take a look and see where the head's at. Here we have some isopropyl alcohol, a very small amount of which has been put onto this paper towel. And this ink cartridge has gone onto the part of the paper towel where there happens to be isopropyl alcohol. And you can already tell because there's already some schmutz on the paper towel. So what we'll do is we'll gently get the chunks off. Very gently, we don't want to ruin what's left of the print head. More schmutz on here, less schmutz on here. So let's just do that gently. If we have to go to other parts of the paper towel, that's a great thing too. If you have it folded over, then the isopropyl will leak through. And bear in mind, I used very little isopropyl. I've still got more than enough to cover me throughout the current toilet paper zombie coronavirus apocalypse. So that schmoo there is um, starting to look a bit better. The actual printhead itself is this particular duva right there. I don't know if it'll pick up on the camera, particularly because macro isn't fantastic. I'm only using a camera phone after all. I'm not a big production. Not yet. But again, it's all about being gentle. You don't want to ruin what's left of the printhead. The cartridge is back in the style writer. I don't have very high hopes for this, to be honest. I'm thinking I may have to go and buy another cartridge for it. It's just as well that I will be featuring the Mac Plus again in a future video or two, mainly because there's a whole bunch of other stuff I want to do with this Mac, including but not limited to giving it a really good clean. So what I'll need to do is I'll need to print out a test page, which involves pushing this button here for six seconds, or thereabouts. Let's see what happens. Well, it feeds. That's positive. Gee, that was unexpected. There's going to be another video about this printer at some point. On the plus side, at least we know that it feeds. Woohoo! Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out all the other awesome videos as part of RetroFair 2020, hashtag RetroFair2020 on YouTube. Until next time, see you later.